to Win Souls TV. This is your host, Jeff Thomas, and I have another prayer request for you guys today. Uh, this one comes in from an anonymous person, and she wanted to pray for her cousin, Brittany. So let me go ahead and read that to you guys. I have a prayer request for my cousin, Brittany. Some months ago, her fiance passed in a car accident, and she's been posting on Facebook how she's depressed and it's been on and off, and how it's been on and off. I have prayed for her a lot and occasionally send scriptures or words of encouragement, and she always says she appreciates them and she needed them. But then she'll post more on Facebook of how she doesn't want to be here or she wishes she could have uh, she could have switched places with her fiance, meaning she wishes that she was dead. Um, it hurts seeing that she's going through this and in my family, depression and suicidal thoughts run a little deep. If you could pray for her along with me and uh, she said that she appreciates it. Well, Miss Anonymous user, today we are going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just I just lift this situation up with Brittany and the uh, individual that sent in this prayer request, Lord. All of this has been nothing more uh, than guidance on your part in terms of the person leading them to me so that I could just be used as a vessel for you. So right now, Lord, I ask that you just take full control of all of my faculties and you use my mouth however you want it to be used. Lord, there is no shame here. And Lord, whatever you want me to say, I will say it. So right now, in Jesus' name, Lord, you are the Lord of Lords. You are the King of Kings. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you are our rock. You are our foundation. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Nissi. You are the beginning, the middle, and the end. And we need you in our lives, Lord. I would like to raise up Brittany and her cousin in prayer, Lord. And even within their bloodlines, Lord, I ask that you cleanse their bloodline, Lord. Uh, any, any spirits that is moving through their bloodline with suicidal thoughts, uh, any connections to depression, anxiety, Lord, I ask that right now you just cancel every strategy of darkness and you send it right back to where uh, it needs to be, and that is in the pit of hell, Lord. And don't allow these things to continue to move within this family line, Lord. I ask that you just anoint every forehead if in their family that is living right now with the oils of joy like you talk about in the word, Lord. I ask that you sanctify them, Lord. I ask that you move within them, Lord. I ask that all strategies of darkness on the north, south, east, and the west, I command you in Jesus' name to cease your work and to be bound in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I ask that you send heavenly winds to, uh, to conquer that land and to sanctify that land, Lord, that they have walked on and their ancestors have walked on, Lord, and any ongoing sin that is moving within their life, Lord, especially uh, any sin that may have opened up the door to depression and anxiety, Lord, right now, I ask that you just touch that, Lord. Touch them, Lord, and just forgive them, Lord. Right now, I ask that you put up a hedge of protect protection around all of their belongings, uh, around their spirit, soul, and body. And right now, I ask that you anoint them with um, not only with the oils of joy, with the fire of the Holy Spirit, Lord, to sanctify them and keep them cleansed, Lord. Don't let them falter to the left or to the right, Lord. I understand that there is a time to mourn and that there is a time to be... Um, uh, down a little bit after a death, Lord. But right now, Lord, I ask that you don't allow that uh, that downtime and that down period of mourning to be an open door for the enemy to come in and plague one of our brothers or sisters, Lord. I ask that you just move in and sweep in and 
Lord, you said you, Holy Spirit, you said you were the comforter, Lord. I ask that you go over there and you comfort her right now as I'm praying this prayer, Lord. I ask that you bring her joy, Lord. Uh, I ask that you bring activities and, and, and godly friends within her life that will uh, fill those gaps and as the source and lead her to the source, which is you, Lord Jesus. I ask that instead of posting on Facebook, Lord, she is running to go and find her Bible so that she can find comfort in the Lord because you are our comforter. Lord, I ask that you continue to comfort her, Lord, and just go before this prayer and open up the floodgates of heaven and rain down the blessings that are necessary for her uh, to continue in her joyful lifestyle that she is meant to live, Lord. Help her to be an example and a standard bearer for you, Lord. Help her to be a perfect representation and her cousin of what a true female Christian should be walking like, Lord. A Proverbs 31 woman, Lord, I ask that you sanctify both of them and keep them on this narrow path, Lord. I ask that right now, Lord, right now in my mind's eye, I am seeing something on Brittany's uh, forehead. And right now in Jesus' name, Lord Jesus, whatever that is, if that is a strategy of darkness, all fiery darts, and whatever that is on her forehead, in Jesus' name, I command you to fall off and die and to never uh, come into Brittany's life again, Lord. I ask that right now you send your ministering angels to minister to her household and to minister uh, comfort, joyful thoughts, um, and joyful uh, dreams and visions, Lord. I, I see that she may be attacked at nighttime um, in, in dreams and visions of the night, Lord. I ask that you give her heavenly dreams and heavenly visions, Lord. I ask that she wakes up refreshed. And Lord, I ask that you just touch all four of her senses, Lord. Take away the anxiety, take away the depression, and put her on a path so that she can experience joy throughout the day could still continue to mourn so that because that that time period is necessary right now. But right now, Lord, I ask that she still continues to mourn, but doesn't seek um, Facebook as as an outlet, Lord. Instead, she seeks you. Instead, she seeks our father, Lord. And if, if there's anybody in um, Brittany's uh, bloodline, as well as the the person that sent in this prayer request, Lord, that is struggling with the same thing right now, Lord, I ask that you just put up a hedge of protection. I ask that right now you send your angelic armies to fight off any demonic forces that may be causing it. And right now, Lord, I ask that you send your ministering angels to bless that situation, Lord. Rain down these blessings, Lord, and keep them on this path, Lord, and help them to understand that you are right there in the midst of that trouble with them, Lord. I ask that you raise them up and help them to continue Continue to fight even in the midst of this time period because Satan is is literally out to steal, kill and destroy. And when we are down, when we are mourning and when we are in our weakest positions, he is out here trying to do something to us and hurt us in some type of way. And I ask that you continue to protect both of them. And I ask that right now you, you anoint them with the oils of joy. In Jesus name, we seal this prayer. Amen. You guys be blessed. Have a good one.